Yo, Steel Mace Nation. It's Fred here. So, uh, I want to talk to you guys about the holidays and your eating habits. Now, I like to crush food. And I eat shit tons of food. I try to eat super duper healthy as much as I can. But when my daughter wants me to have some ice cream with her or even a piece of chocolate candy, I go in. And usually, the other Fred takes over. And the other Fred, he's fucked up. Because he will eat all your sugary carbohydrates right out of the house in one shot. And laugh about it. All right? It's, it's Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. But the other Fred, the good Fred, man, he likes 10 ounces of of grilled chicken, 10 ounces of steak, 10 ounces, or actually 12 ounces of cod. You know, um, I like my proteins. I like my vegetables. So, you know, I, I kind of bounce in between these two different guys, right? And as long as I don't entertain the bad friend, um, too much, we keep it in check. This could be you too. All right. The holidays are just crazy, right? Um, we're right now we're in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Uh, there's, you know, all the potential to wind up eating things like uh, candy and desserts and stuff. A lot of people just sign off and say, you know what, I'm not going to worry about my diet until the new year. Some of you can get away with that. Some of you can't because this is the time of year where you're going to pack on well, you remember COVID when we when it first hit in April. Uh, the, the joke is, you know, COVID nineteen it means nineteen pounds, right? So, so you you could put on nineteen pounds, twenty pounds, easy um, through the holidays, and then when you start in January, you're going to be behind the eight ball because um, you know you're going to also feel mentally kind of fucked up because you dropped your guard and and you gave up. So, it's all it's all about playing your cards with this shit. So, you know, don't be doing binge things or um you know, in between the holidays, I'm not going to eat, you know, in between Christmas and Thanksgiving, I'm not going to eat any carbs whatsoever. Okay? If your body's been processing carbs, then don't take them away. Don't play your ace. You know, don't play your ace. That's not how you play cards. You you save your ace. You save your good cards. You get rid of your shit cards first. So your shit cards or your low cards that you want to play first, simple. Keep it simple. Eliminate sugar. Okay? Eliminate sugar from everywhere. Okay? That means if you're going to do some kind of desserts, look for something that is sugar free. And I'm not going to get all into it with the artificial chemicals, you know, the the um aspartames and all that. Um yeah, that shit's bad for you too, but believe it or not, sugar is really bad for you and it's addicting. So, you know, use use other types of sweeteners if you could get away with it. Monk fruit is a good one. Um You know, things that are going to eliminate, you got to eliminate the sugar, all right? Save, save it for the holidays. When Christmas hits, eat, you know, the real deal and then get right back on the horse. So eliminate all sugar, increase your water intake. Those are two moves that you can make right there. Now, here's the third one. This is a low card that you should be playing all the time anyway. Introduce fiber into your diet at least once or twice a day and use it strategically. Don't just take the fiber willy-nilly. When you f- when you feel like a binge coming on or you're getting hungry and it's not really your time to eat, that's when you take a, a drink, big, tall glass, fill it with fiber, and chug it. What I'm using right now to get me through the holidays because I, wanted, I want something that has some sweetness, I'm using orange-flavored Metamucil, and uh, yes, it's an artificial sweetener. I don't care. It's not going to kill me. All right. I st- 
stay away from that stuff. I've stayed away from it my whole life. And right now, that's my friend, okay? I drink it. All that water fills me up, plus the dose of fiber, and I get the sweet orange flavor, which somehow does magic things in my mind and helps me refrain from picking out and doing the wrong thing. Um, the other thing is you should have uh, – we, we don't eat enough fiber in our diets anyway, and it's proven that – Fiber helps with lowering cholesterol and more importantly, helps prevent colon cancer. And that's a huge one because colon cancer will fucking kill you because it goes undetected unless you go for colonoscopies. And a lot of people don't. So if you're not going to go for colonoscopies, you better be taking plenty of fiber. One or two teaspoons a day just to start. Um, but man, you, if you use it strategically, it will fill you up and will hold you off from making mistakes. And you know, those are your cards that you play lay low and glide through the holidays, have fun on the holidays. And then, um, you know, January 1st, everybody's going to start up fresh again. Um, you know, you're going to start ahead of the game a little bit. And then that's where you start playing your other cards. That's where you start reducing your carbs, increasing your protein. Um, when you get hungry, you steam a whole thing of broccoli and put like salt and pepper on it and shit and just eat that. You know, vegetables kind of don't count at this stage of the game. You know, you can eat as many vegetables as you want. Just don't put butter and fat and stuff like that on them. But make sure when you eat your proteins, you're getting... Uh, healthy fats with your proteins because that's how nature intended your uh, proteins to be consumed and that's how your body metabolizes it better. So you want some healthy fats like avocado, olive oil, coconut oil, those kind of things mixed in with your fats. But of course, if you're eating animal protein, there's already fats mixed in with it. Hmm. Wow. They came up with something ingenious there by actually mixing the protein with the fat. It must be as nature intended it. So that's some little tips that you could do. It's just the tip of the iceberg. And of course, it's always going to be a challenge. But um, just don't fall victim to, to um, you know, giving up e easily and throwing in the towel during this time of year and saying, uh, I'll put it off to next year. If I have this conversation one more time, I'm going to, if I got $5 for every time somebody around this time of year told me that ah, they're just going to wait till January, I'd be using an iPhone right now instead of a Android. That's how much money I would have. So, um, cut, cut that bullshit out. Don't be like everybody else. Mediocre bullshit, putting shit off, do the hard thing, stay in the pocket, stay tight, grind, Work against it. Work against the resistance. That resistance is there for you to break. Break that resistance. It's not there to break you. You are going to break that resistance. You're going to pummel the shit out of it, and you're going to take care of business. All right, guys, I hope this one helps. Talk to you at the next one.